Good morning, everybody. Here we are. Uh, we are going to start the uh, or fabricating the the linkage assembly for the actuator. As you can see, I got my uh, my Delrin in yesterday and got all the bearings made. Uh, shafts are installed, so I can get my uh, my height. I tacked that guy on there just for uh, for funds to to see see how off my elevation was um, and I'll probably have to lop a good inch or so off but what I'm going to do I'm going to weld this uh, male clevis end on and put the pin in level the cylinder and I will get my elevation for the rest of the assembly so I'm going to do that I'm going to uh, here's my actuator arm so this is an uh, inch and a half by three. It's a uh, three sixteenths wall, so <clears throat> plenty heavy duty enough. I uh, found that at my local scrapyard. I think I paid like six or seven bucks for it. So uh, that was nice. Um, so the way this is going to work, I'm going to weld weld this these to the bottom of it, and then I have a. 5 8 shaft that's going to go through uh, cut that off at I think right about six inches or so and I went online I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with McMaster car but uh, McMaster car is one of my favorite favorite places to shop the uh, oh, I just love these guys um, so I bought these oil lights. Um, it's an oil impregnated bronze bushing, and so it. Uh, I'll have to dress this up a little bit when I'm all done with it. Might might have to sand it down, but uh, so these inserts are going to press like so, and then so we're not going to have. Well, hopefully we're not going to have a bunch of like you know screechy sounds when we're. Uh, when we're using the grapple function on it, uh, yeah. So I'm. That's the basic assembly there, and so we're gonna get going here. Um, I'm gonna start uh, welding and and cutting pieces and whatnot. So uh, sit tight. I'll uh, fire the camera back up once I'm done. Okay, this is taking way longer than I was hoping. Um, just to get this set together, um, working, and so this slides through uh, tightly, but not getting stuck. Uh, it's been really difficult. This this one assembly has taken me almost 45 minutes, and that's that's going from a tacked uh, piece to a welded piece to pressing in the bushings. Uh, cleaning up the shaft to the point where it works, uh, reaming out the bushings, um, drilling holes and chamfering them, uh, chamfering the edges, cleaning up the slag. Uh, today's going a whole lot slower than I thought it was going to, but it's going to get done and it's going to get done right. Okay guys, uh, here we are. This is the uh, this is the grappolator, fully assembled, uh, ready to go. So uh, it took me a little while to get this third function to work properly. Uh, it seemed like uh, I'm not, I've never built something new like this and added a new cylinder with new lines. So I think it was a matter of bleeding it, um, but it took me a little bit to get it figured out. So it is, uh, it is working and it has not self-destructed so uh, here we go so, so you can see the position of the hooks and the clearances that I have with the uh, actuator arm and uh, yeah it looks pretty decent 
So I'm happy with it. Not bad for uh, for a rookie. So I'm gonna go get some hay. We're gonna pick it up, see how it feels. I uh, have the brush hog on the back, just for uh, safety's sake. But it feels pretty good. Now, uh, one thing that I did do wrong here, I'll sh I'll shut this off. One thing I did do wrong was I miscalculated the length of uh, hydraulic hose. So I bought four foot hoses and uh, this one's too short. So I, I, I can get by with this one, but I'm gonna have to get a uh, probably a six foot or so. Just when it's all the way up, I might have to get two six footers. But oh well, I guess I'll have a couple of spares. Uh, so yeah, anyway, things are looking good guys. So I'm gonna go get some hay and uh, we're gonna pick it up. All right, folks. I got some hay in a stack over there and uh, I measured it just to, well, I gave it a little bit of, sorry about the wind. Uh, it's a really windy day here. Uh, I, I put them there kind of loose and I measured it and we're like 80 inches wide. This is 76 inches wide. Uh, I, I So bales are 18 inches wide and I made this 18 and three quarter between uh, the dividers here and that might not be enough. So uh, here's my wife doing horsey stuff. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to move these over a little bit, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch or half inch and then put half inch spacers behind these just to give it a little bit more uh, leeway there. So I'm gonna attempt to pick those up and uh, See how she goes. First time operator here, so uh, it's okay to laugh. I won't get mad. Not sure how close we are. I guess line up one side. Uh, Picking up a stack like this would be a whole lot easier without those dividers, but oh, well, we got to test it with the dividers. So. Oh. Okay, I'm too wide, so just for this instance here I'm just gonna go on play with me here yeah this is it's too narrow it's good that good to not know this now so uh, yeah this is just simply too narrow guys uh, play soccer with hay bales okay everything else seems to kind of line up all right though It did it. Uh, bales aren't all the way up against the back, so obviously things are going to be very different when I'm actually in the field and I'm accumulating them. It's not uh, not going to be a pick and place type thing, but uh, nothing's broken yet, so that's good. It doesn't feel overly heavy for the tractor. Um, yeah, these this hook should be placed right about here if everything was. Uh, situated the way it's supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these out and I'm gonna build spacers for this, uh, for the outside dividers. And I think that that should remedy this uh, this tight squeeze issue. If, uh, if I had a banana bale on the field, it wouldn't go in there at all. 
So, uh, well, that's, uh, that's, it's part of the learning process. So now I know, and uh, we're gonna make this better. So, uh, well, this is it for number five, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start disassembling it for paint and uh, moving things over, make a little more room. So thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, staying tuned throughout this whole build process. And uh, yeah, well, take good care and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.